Hello, this is uh, January 12th, 2022. I cannot believe we're in 2022. Good grief. Um, and all the challenges that we face as a people on planet Earth, but we'll get there. So I'm going to read from you the devotional from this book, which is uh, Cherokee Feast of Days. So for January 12th, this is what it reads. As time goes by, we learn it isn't the speed with which, which we do our work, but the quality of time that makes life an accomplishment. How much do we enjoy working or playing or just resting? Schedules and deadlines take up most of what we do. We seldom have time to enjoy something for the sake of just doing it. If we feel pressure, we have little incentive to enjoy anything, much less do it well. Many who have to sit all day are bored and have nothing to think about except how unhappy they are and how they feel physically. More time is not the answer. We need a better quality of life. And in that, we refer to that in Cherokee as Agas Usi, which is a deeper rest. And it begins with quality attitudes. What we have or what we do, not ha have, should never dictate the quality of our lives or the capacity to simply enjoy. Let me read that last sentence again. What we have or what we do not have, should never dictate the quality of our lives or our capacity to enjoy simple things. Some pass without recognition the grandest of all, and that's from the Song of Love. So when we think about this and we think about how busy we all are and that, you know, it used to be said, take time to smell the roses, and I think this is more or less what this devotional today is talking about, is taking the time to slow down, enjoy where we are, what we're doing. Now, that's a hard and tall order for January 2022. And regardless of how you feel about the COVID virus and whatever and however it's affected your family or not, we are in an unprecedented time. And we'll not get through it unless we get through it together. So that means respecting Mother Nature. That means slowing down. That means revering our fellow human beings. But also, this other line, it said, I'm going to read this line again too. We seldom have time to enjoy something for the sake of doing it. Gosh, that is so true. How many times have we... Um, just done something, we used to call it by rote, R-O-T-E. Just do it because we're like a, a robot, you know. Um, sometimes we live our lives on autopilot. Sometimes we have to. I've been through plenty of situations where I've had to do that. And in some sense, I'm doing it now. However, if we can have that joy and that privilege to do something that we truly enjoy doing, we need to recognize that we're allowed to do that and enjoy the time that we spend doing that. You know, um, not to get too much in depth about my personal history, however, it's very important to realize. I used to be a really successful mortgage loan officer. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> my voice seems like it wants, wants to go, so I'm sorry. Matter of fact, I was the fifth top producing mortgage loan officer for the third largest bank in the nation. Then a wreck happened. Kid ran into me. Um, they said she was going 60, 70 miles an hour out on the four-lane highway, and I was the car that stopped her. It destroyed the life that I knew. Um, and we don't know what the cards are that we're going, going to be dealt, but I can tell you where I was going with this is that I loved that job. I loved helping people get into homes. I love teaching people that they could afford a house payment more than they could afford rental payments. And I just, I loved going to work every day. I loved meeting the people. I loved giving, you know, teaching the realtors about mortgages and, and all that. I loved it. It was a joy to work. So I've had other experiences since then um, that I've been able to do. I worked for the Charlotte Police Department and um, headed up their accessible parking unit, which became, after 9-11, the Civil Patrol Unit. Um, 
yeah, that's a big feather in my cap. But more importantly, I really loved the people there. I really enjoyed it. I've also worked for the National Park Service. I have done work for the Cherokee Tribe, which I'm very, very um, blessed to have been able to do. So it's important to do the things that make you feel good about what you're doing and who you are. And try to increase that in your life and try to pay attention to that. Okay, y'all have a great January 12, 2022. Take care. Bye.